Today I want to visit a subject that a lot of betrayed spouses encounter and they encounter it with an incredible amount of frustration and that is why is the unfaithful spouse so angry? It's kind of like the audacity of you, the unfaithful spouse, and let me say it this way, of me, a former unfaithful spouse, to have any shred of anger at all. Why is that even possible? And I know it can throw you betrayed spouses for a complete and total loop. You're kind of like, look, you went out and had this you know, affair or these numbers of affairs or this addiction for however long, and yet you're going to be angry I mean, where do you get off being such a self-absorbed and, and several other expletives probably? Uh, number one, it, it's, it's very common. After what I've gone through as well as talking to a, a small stadium full of people over the years, it is very common. Um, so let me give you three reasons why, in, in my opinion, from personal experience and then talking to so many people, why the unfaithful is angry. Number one, it's probably because of shame. Early on when my affair became public, I was humiliated, I was ashamed, I was depressed, I had the rug pulled out from underneath me, every, every shred of my normal world for the past two years of the affair and kind of ten years of doing what I was doing overnight changed. So I was just kind of teetering into shame, but a lot of times the unfaithful spouse has anger and or displays a great deal of anger because they're ashamed of what they've done. They're ashamed of who they are. They're ashamed of who they've become. They're ashamed of the person that they've allowed themselves to become and exposure of the affair, whether it be in an instant or whether it be progressively, it just really breeds an incredible amount of shame about who you are and what you've done. Remember, Shame says I am something bad. Conviction, guilt says I've done something bad. And so when we feel shame, if our coping skills aren't healthy, we then kind of exhibit a great deal of anger. Remember, we're unhealthy. So when, when unhealthy people are tapped into, you're not going to have healthy responses or healthy, healthy coping skills. You're going to have unhealthy responses and usually that's a great deal of anger. So if your unfaithful spouse is exhibiting a lot of anger, it may be because they feel so ashamed of what they've done and who they've become. That was one of the main reasons that I was so full of anger. The second reason that the unfaithful spouse may be displaying so much anger is because we have so much resentment inside of us. Resentment at its nature is an intimacy killer, obviously, but it breeds a sense of anger that builds and builds and builds, and then it starts to come out with a great deal of venom. And I'm talking about the unfaithful. I know it sounds like, what an idiot, but it's really unique. We, the unfaithful, have built up so much resentment behind the scenes that when it starts to come out, it comes out through anger. We're so angry at you because we have stuffed down all of our emotions, feelings, unmet needs, perceived rejection, which I'll talk about in a minute. We stuff it down, especially as men. We just, we don't like to talk about what we feel. Or we, we kind of feel like, man, it's just not worth it. You know, from my personal experience, it was, she's not going to hear it. She's not going to want to talk about it. I'm always the bad guy. So I, I would stuff it down, and that would breed and reinforce the affair. Uh, and so when there's an incredible amount of resentment, it comes out as a great deal or a great amount of anger towards you, the betrayed. I know you kind of sit back and go, what is going on? But I'll tell you, if your unfaithful spouse is exhibiting a lot of anger, it's probably because they have resentment deep down inside. And they may tell you, I don't want to talk about it, let's talk about you, and I get that. But eventually, they're going to have to talk about all of that resentment because it's what is producing so much anger that's coming out at you. Number three, and for me, this was probably one of the biggest issues that produced so much anger in me. We, the unfaithful, deal with a great deal of perceived rejection. Now, I say perceived because you probably weren't trying to reject 
your unfaithful spouse. Samantha wasn't trying to reject me, but she did. It doesn't mean my affair was acceptable. Not at all. I'm just talking to you about why there's so much anger. I felt rejected time and time again. And so after you perceive that you've been rejected time and time again, it, it really it warps you. It produces in you this anger, this bitterness, this resentment that we're talking about. And so that then kind of fuels the affair. You say, well, I'm not going to, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but I have to say it this way. Well, I'm not going to get it here, meaning I'm not going to get affirmation or acceptance or approval, or maybe it's physical intimacy. I'm not going to get that here, so I'll go here. It's just easier. That's why so many men uh, and even women deal with pornography. It's just easier in our minds. We don't have to wade through the, you know, the different intimacy channels. We don't have to wade through connection, which is really what a spouse needs, obviously, to be able to uh, then allow for a real united sense of intimacy physically and emotionally. But when we feel rejected or we perceive that you're rejecting us, mm, it fuels the anger, which then fuels the stuffing down, which then fuels the affair or the desire to have an affair or the resistance to the affair goes down incredibly because you kind of feel like, man, he or she isn't, they don't care, they're, they're not in tune, but my affair partner is, my addiction is. And this is kind of what happens in midlife, unfortunately. It just becomes easier to go the way of least resistance. And a lot of times, one of the biggest meltdowns, some of the biggest meltdowns I had in, at the EMS weekend or talking to Rick was because I was feeling rejected. So if an unfaithful spouse feels rejected or perceives that you have been rejecting them for a long period of time, they're probably going to have a lot of anger deep down inside. I hope that helps you and I hope that gives you some understanding of where the anger in the unfaithful spouse typically comes from.